Hey, what's going on everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit over rakeandprofit.com. Coming back to with another video and I found a bunch of items that I'm gonna sell on eBay and Amazon from garage sales, flea markets, and thrift stores. And in this video, I'm gonna cover all the items I found. I'm gonna tell you how much I paid for them, where I'm gonna sell them, if it's gonna be eBay, Amazon FBA, and how much potential profit I hope to make in hopes for you to be able to recognize these items when you're out at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, auctions, flea markets, so you can grow your business and make some money. So with that being said, let's get into the intro. All right, welcome back. So let's dive into the first item right here. And this was an item that they were asking $30 for at a garage sale, and I ended up getting this for $20. Now, this is a, a PlayStation 2, but it's not just anyone. It's the white slim PlayStation 2. And you might be able to see this, but the, the tag is opened a little bit. So I ended up opening it up, and this thing is like new. What does like new mean? And it means that it's not brand new. Brand new, it's gotta be sealed and never opened. It's all in the original packaging. You can probably see the cardboard still here. Um, like this thing, I don't even think it's ever been used. I think someone just opened it up to check if it was in there because I mean, this thing is the cords, everything's all wrapped up. And this right here, uh, the last time I checked, I know it was selling for over a hundred. It might sell close to 150, maybe even more. So this was a really, really amazing score at a garage sale. This was a church sale and uh, you know, it pays to be there first. I was one of the first people there. I saw this, I popped on it and I put some really good profits in my pocket. Next up is a board game. Um, this was from a garage sale. Uh, I'm trying to stop this light from shining on it so much. That's, that was from a garage sale. It's called Funglish. A lot of times I don't even know what these things are. All I do is I take my phone and I scan the barcode on the back. I forget what this was going for. I think it was going for maybe like 20, 30 bucks, maybe more, maybe 40. I have to double check it. So I'm gonna sell this on Amazon FBA. And when it comes to Amazon FBA, all I do is I literally stick a label over the barcode, I list it on Amazon and I put it in a box, usually about 15, 20, 30 items in a box, and I ship it to the warehouses and when it sells, Amazon will pick it, pack it, ship it. So I love selling board games that are brand new in the box on Amazon. Next up, this was a really cool find right here. Be on the lookout for anything Logitech, uh, the webcams, um, the keyboards. This one's brand new in the box. It's never been opened. I mean, this box is still sealed um, on the side. You probably won't be able to see that. Uh, this thing is selling for on Amazon over $50 at the time that I looked up this price. It might be going for more right now. If it was used, um, I'd probably put it on eBay, but since this is brand new in the box and I am allowed to sell Logitech, a lot of people aren't approved in Logitech. I have a seasoned account over, in, over seven years, so I've sold this before, but this is a really, really cool find right here. And uh, yeah, look on, be on the lookout for Logitech. Lego, this isn't worth a ton of money. I ended up getting this for 50 cents over at a, uh, a garage sale. It's Lego Creator. It's probably worth like maybe $15 or so, but anything Lego, brand new, pick it up. Even if it's used, you know, if you're at a garage and you get, you know, 10 pounds for 20, 30 bucks, pick it up because Lego for the most part can sell for seven, $8 a pound. And if there's little figures in it or if things are already pre-made, you can definitely have a lot of value in it. Next up is a Honeywell thermostat. These usually sell for, you know, 20, 30 bucks all day long. If you can find thermostats brand new, you know, sealed in the packaging, never open, it's, you know, it's money in the bank. You could sell this on eBay, you could sell it on Amazon. Um, I'm not sure if I'm ungated with this brand right here. I'll have to rescan it, but uh, this will be 20, 30 bucks all day long. Ended up, I think I paid $2 for this. You can find these really, really cheap. Uh, next up is this DVD set. It's by BBC, The Dramatic Works of William Shakespeare, Tragedy. You can look this up on Amazon. I'll probably put some screenshots on the screen right now. Uh, last time I looked, this was selling for over $50. I think it might've been $70. So um, I'll have to recheck that, but this was a garage sale. I think I paid $2 for it. I love selling DVDs. You can sell DVDs on eBay. They sell way better on Amazon. You'll get a lot more money. Look for the, the box sets that have multiple DVDs in it. If you're not ungated in DVDs, 
You could buy from a wholesale distributor like Alliance and just get an invoice, buy 10 or more. Then you got to give that to Amazon, you get approved. But uh, pretty cool find right here. So I actually just scanned this item right here and it's selling for $100. I didn't even realize it. Uh, three merchants at 100 and then one at, at 100 as well. It's selling used for $69.99. Let me scan a couple items real quick so you can see it. Yeah, so I just scanned this item and it's selling for $27.95, which means I'll make about $20 profit. Yeah, so I just looked this up on eBay and it's going for about $50 new. There's not a lot of people asking um, for it right now. There's not a lot, a lot of listings, so I might even price higher. All right, so let's keep on going here. So I'm going to go through some of these pretty quick. Uh, be on the lookout for ink. Um, this is some Canon ink right here. I'm not sure what it is, but what, what you can do and what I normally do is I just pull out my app. Uh, my eBay app, if you're allowed to sell Canon, and you can scan it. So it look, looks like this is the Canon PGI-5. Uh, nope, that's not it. That's a single cartridge. You can actually look it up on eBay. If you just get the, the eBay app and you scan the barcode, you can also find it that way as well. Okay, so I just found the listing on eBay. Okay, yeah, so this is selling for about 20 bucks right here. I paid $1.99. Um, always look up ink to see if it's expired. Um, I mean, this was this is probably old. It looks old. Sometimes you could see it on the packaging if it says it's expired or not. I'm not sure, but you should probably get about $20 for that. Uh, this was also a thrift store find that I paid $2.99 for. Now, the value of these, the, the, the Texas Instruments TI-83 calculators have really gone down in value. I used to be able to flip these things for 40, 50, 60 bucks all day long. It looks like the value of these ooh, on eBay are around uh maybe like 35 dollars right now maybe 30 bucks maybe it'll go higher during textbook season which it traditionally will did i lose the i'm trying to find the top to it maybe i lost that did it fall oh that's not good that might be an issue that i didn't even realize i think i i think i was rushing when i bought it and the little case for the batteries is missing so that's gonna hurt the value that'll probably bring the value down five seven eight bucks so be sure when you are uh, looking over these things, I could have sworn I dropped it. I didn't remember. I, I'm usually pretty good at scanning it. I'll have to check the box because that's pretty obvious. I definitely would have noticed that. So yeah, be on the lookout for that and be very careful with the batteries. Here's another item that I that I picked up. I paid a buck for this at a garage sale. It's a Sony recorder. A lot of the, the college students like these. Um, these usually sell for anywhere from $20 to $50, depending on what the model is. If you could ever find these brand new in the packaging, Oh, you're in for a surprise. These things could sell for hundreds of dollars, especially the old vintage vintage ones. Really anything Sony, the Sony CD players, the cassette players, the recorders, anything Sony that's older, 10 plus years or more, if you get that new in the packaging, huh, you're in for a lot of profit. So I did a video the other day and I was talking about magazines. So this is gonna be a two part share and I have a lot more of these. I, I'm just gonna share with you a couple of them right here, but these are crossword puzzles. I got these for free at a garage sale. So if you open them up, these things, they've never been used. So I'm not sure when these are from, looks like these are from 2019. These aren't very old. Um, so this isn't the best example, but these still are gonna sell for some good money. I have a whole lot of, these are Dell. Yeah, these are all Dell crossword puzzles. So you could sell these things in lots, um, especially if you get these older, five, 10, 15, 20 years old. If you get crossword puzzles, that are new, never used, and sell them in lots, you could sell these things for a bunch of money. So the last time I looked, I have about 20 more of these. I could probably sell these things for $50, $70, just depending on the year. I've got to do a little bit more research, but don't pass up on vintage crossword puzzles. You'd be very, very surprised how much they sell for. And uh, funny enough, at that same garage sale for free, they had a box out. I picked up a bunch of these magazines. Now, a lot of people are wondering, you know, are magazines worth money? I'm not an expert when it comes to magazines. I flip some Life magazines, um, but this is Boy's Life. I got a whole lot of them and I have a whole box full of them for free. Now, these aren't the old ones. The really, really old vintage ones sell for a lot more money. I think these are only a couple years old, but check out Boy's Life. I'll put some screenshots on this video. Check out Boy's Life uh, magazines, how much they sell for in lots. These things sell for some really, really good profits and they sell pretty quick. Now, this was another garage sale find that I came across. And I don't know if you know about these or not, but these little uh, blank cassettes, if you can get them new, I have a whole box of these. I have probably 25 more. 
I ended up paying close to a quarter for each of these. So I got a whole box of like 40 of them for about $10. You could sell these on Amazon if you're approved. You could also sell them on eBay. On Amazon, there might be listings of like lots of five or a lot of one, a lot of two. It's usually not worth it to sell these individually on Amazon. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna sell these for, but for 10 bucks, I'll probably make you know, on that box of 40, probably close to $150 or so. So anytime you find these blank cassettes, if you can find them brand new, just lot them up. They sell extremely well. I'm gonna put this over here on the side so I don't damage these, but those are really cool. This was another, uh, was this a flea market find? I'm not sure where I found this. It was either a garage sale or a flea market, but I know I paid less than five bucks. One of the best board games to be on the lookout for. One of the best. Now, this thing, um, I tried to count all the pieces and look at it. Um, there might be one or two pieces missing, uh, but this is still probably gonna sell for 60 to $80. If it's complete, probably over $100 if it's complete because this box is in fantastic condition. This is made by Milton Bradley and this is 1990. I've made videos about this before, but vintage board games can make a killing for you. Look up the game uh, Dark Tower. That was one of my, my best flips. Um, in terms of a board game. What's that other board game that I flipped? Uh, I forget the name of it, but there's a lot of them out there that, I mean, could make you 40, 50, 60 bucks. There's a couple, oh, Hero Quest. I'll put a, a screenshot of Hero Quest on, uh, on the video right now. That's a really great board game to be on the lookout for, but Splat, really cool game. And I love the crazy colors. If you can find vintage board games that are like crazy colors or like they just look like weird action games. You always want to look those up. Here's a little more ink that I found for a buck 99. That's probably another $20. Oh, this was a really cool find at the flea market. This was, I think this was $2. And uh, I have a bunch more flea market finds that I could share. I really, I crushed it with video games and DVDs at the flea market a couple weekends ago. But uh, this was a cool clothing find, Vineyard Vines. Look for the, for the whale. And if you could find, you know, any of the items with like a big logo or a, a big whale on the item, these go really, really well. This is Happy Hanukkah. This will probably sell for $30 or so used. It's in fantastic shape. Vineyard Vines. I love this brand. One of the best brands to flip um, dress shirts, polo shirts, shorts. Um, oh, here's some really good uh, finds at the flea market. I found a bunch of books. The funny thing is at the flea market, don't listen to the price. Like this was listed at $20 and I got this for five bucks right here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna load up my Amazon app and scan some of these for you. So I've got the Amazon seller app. I scanned the barcode and this is really cool. This is a book all about koi fish. This book right here, uh, there's 15 people selling it at $86 is the lowest price. New is $136. You might be able to see that. If not, we'll put a screenshot on the video right here. Million rank, 41 reviews. It'll probably sell within two or three months. Five bucks to 80 bucks. I'll probably make $60 profit. That was a really cool find at the flea market. And most people at the flea market, they're not looking for books and DVDs. They're looking for collectibles. They're looking for antiques. This was another uh, great find right here. And this is a little slower of a seller, a 2.7 million rank. Um, I forget what the e-score was, but I paid $2 for this book. Two bucks, selling for 51. I'll make $37 after fees on that. And here was another interesting book, Indian Silver Smithing by Ben Hunt. I don't remember what this was going for, but I think I paid five bucks. I remember the booth that I picked this up from. And with the Amazon app, you could scan the cover of the book, which is really cool. Uh, this book is selling for used $27.98. So I'll probably make about $12, $13 profit, 1.3 million rank. So a little bit of a slower seller, but I love selling books on Amazon FBA. Again, I throw them in a box, ship them off, and I'm good to go. And this was a this was a uh, state sale find. Uh, this was probably from uh, three weeks ago or so, but I wanted to throw this in. This is Thermos. This is made by Thermos. It just looks really, really interesting. Uh, it's an old piece, probably from, I don't know if it says, probably from the, the 70s or the 80s, I'm assuming. It's in great condition. It's just the Thermos. Honestly, I don't know much about it, but what you can do is you can just flip these items up to, upside down and look it up. So I'll do this right now. So I'll go to eBay and let's see what I find. So I know this is Thermos. I don't know exactly what it is, but it says 570. Thermos 570 and it says Ingrid. Let me type that in. in and let's see if anything comes up. So there we go. So I'm going to go to the sold listings. So I see 14.99 plus shipping, 15 plus shipping, 19.95 plus shipping. 
Here's one. This is my exact one. $29.99 right here, plus shipping. Oh, this one's new in the box, though. So this is probably about 15 bucks. I only paid a buck for it, so you're not going to get rich off of it. But look for unique pieces like that. If you get something for a dollar or two and sell it for 15 to 20 bucks plus shipping, I mean, making 10 12 $13 per flip isn't bad at all. So I'm trying to see if there's anything else to show you. I think that's pretty much it. So I shared board games, cassettes, books, Legos, keyboards, calculators, thermostats, different things like this, clothing. So those are some of my finds. Uh, very few of them. I have a ton or else this video would be forever. But uh, I'll keep making update videos um, about the items I find and I flip on eBay and Amazon. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by smashing that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. But those were some of my finds. I'd be curious to know, what have you found lately? What have you been selling? Uh, have you been hitting the garage sales hard? Have you been spending more time at the flea markets? I'm actually getting ready to go to the uh, Brimfield in Massachusetts uh, flea market, which has, if it doesn't keep raining, it's been raining like crazy in Connecticut, 4,000 vendors, supposedly. 4,000. Whew! I can't wait for that. So I've been loving the flea markets. I've been loving the garage sales. Of course, I love the thrift stores when I could find items fairly priced. But yeah, let me know in the comments. With that being said, keep up making enough money, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.